This is a demo video showing you how to use a hand power drill and I'm going to show you how to drill into wood, metal and plastic using a hand drill. So um, let me just show you the tool first. So this is a hand drill. The red part is the trigger, that's what turns it on. Um, it's battery powered so you can remove this battery pack. And it can charge and then obviously that makes it quite portable. Um, this part here is called the chuck and we can loosen the chuck to put in, uh, you can see it that way, there's the chuck. And you can loosen and tighten it to put in different size drill bits. Drill bits are what um, makes the size of the hole. So here's an example of my various shapes of drill bits that I can drill into these different materials. Um, and the other thing you might want to check is these buttons on this side and the other side. So if we're drilling down, we want to make sure that down arrow is pushed in. And then that's ready. So I'm going to show you pine first. So with every category of material, you want to keep um, a piece of scrap wood underneath to protect your bench. And then I'm going to clamp it with my quick release clamp. So in wood, to help locate the drill bit, uh, I'm going to use a centre punch. So you'd mark out your wood where you want it. So you might be drilling a clearance hole or a pilot hole uh, to join two pieces of material together. Uh, so you'd have your, your point where you want to drill. And then one nice assertive tap, that would be the centre. And that is going to help uh, locate my drill bit so it won't slip over the material. So when you're using the power drill, you want to put one hand on the trigger and the other hand on top of the drill and then you uh, turn it on and just push nice and gently. So you want to just be careful you don't um, drill too far in uh, to the material, you don't want to hit the bench, so just uh, use your common sense. And there is a hole drilled in some wood. If I wanted to make quite a large hole, what I might do is drill, and this is for all materials, what I might drill is now drill a medium sized hole and then a larger hole. So you do it nice and slowly. Another way to do that is using this special drill bit called a step drill. Uh, so it kind of just gradually makes the hole bigger and bigger as you drill it through. Okay, next I'm going to now drill a piece of metal. So this is a piece of aluminium. It's quite thin, um, but the techniques are the same as if it's any thickness of wood, uh, metal, sorry. So you're gonna clamp it down with your scrap wood underneath. And with metal, you definitely need to, because it's quite, you can see it's quite shiny, quite slippery. So we are going to definitely need to use our centre punch and our hammer to make a little dent in the surface to help locate the drill bit so it won't skid around and you it gets to the centre of where you want the hole to be. So again, line it up, trigger on the hand on the trigger, other hand on the top and just nice, even pressure. Another indicator is if you can see sawdust, that means you're all the way through, so you can pretty much stop. And that's my piece of metal drilled. So you might get like a sharp burr around the edge. So if you want to get rid of that, what you can do is use a slightly bigger drill bit and just twist, twist it off. Just be careful because it could be sharp. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to drill into a piece of um, acrylic. So still with the scrap wood, but I'm going to put an extra bit of scrap acrylic underneath my piece of acrylic that I want to drill into. 
acrylic is quite brittle so um just to help stop it cracking that's what that extra bit of acrylic is for underneath so clamp it as like the other materials with um acrylic we want to just put a piece of masking tape where we want to drill and then use a permanent marker to mark it because acrylic is quite brittle, we're not going to use our center, center punch and hammer. It would just crack it. So the center punch and the hammer is only for drilling wood and metal. And then, but the, this, once I've got this marked out with on my masking tape, it's the same as uh, wood and plastic, um, metal. So again, I'm using my common sense. I can see it's red now, so that means it must have gone through the blue acrylic. And then I can stop. And undo the clamp and just have a look. And there's my hole in my acrylic. So these are the three materials that I've shown you how to drill a hole in. Uh, we've got pine, aluminium and acrylic. Uh, so as I said before, we might use we might use a hand drill to make clearance holes or pilot holes, and if we're using wood screws or screws to join it together, and we want, wanted it flush, we might use this tool, which we put into the chuck of the power drill, which is called a countersink. So I've just put the pine back because I'll show you what it looks like. So I've put my countersink into the power drill, and I've got my hole I drilled earlier. And then it just makes a little cone shape so that the screw will lie flat, flush um, in the wood.